looks like another exciting outing for the Dalton family. Today, the Dalton kids are visiting tidal pools to celebrate the glorious sea life they contain. Well, actually, they're grounded and have to kill the time somehow until they get their electronics back. But while they enjoy this little piece of the Atlantic, let's talk about galvanic cells, which are a type of electrochemical cell. Electrochemical cells are enclosed systems where oxidation and reduction reactions take place to generate a flow of electrons, also known as electricity. Although you may not have heard the name galvanic cell or the other term for them, voltaic cell, you probably use them every day as common batteries. Galvanic cells are made up of two compartments called half cells, like the two halves of this tidal pool. Each half holds a liquid solution containing ions called an electrolyte and an electrode, which is a solid conductor that carries electrons into or out of that half cell. Usually, one electrode is negative and the other is positive. The negative Dalton sun surrounded by anemones represents the negatively charged electrode called an anode. The anode has an excess of electrons because it is where oxidation, or loss of electrons, occurs. Just like how this half of the tidal pool is where all this rusty, oxidized junk is sitting. To get specific, the anode is made of a solid material like copper or zinc that gets oxidized by the solution in its half cell. This produces cations and an abundance of electrons on the anode. Because the anode is broken down in this reaction, it usually gets smaller with time. On the other half of the tidal pool, we can see the positive Dalton daughter wearing a cat shirt to represent the positively charged cathode. And it looks like the Dalton kids are communicating with the classic cup and string apparatus. That's a creative and kind of pathetic way to cope with mom confiscating their cell phones. Anyhow, that wire connecting them symbolizes that in order for a galvanic cell to generate electricity, there must be a conductive wire connecting the electrodes. The negative son is throwing minus sign balls to his positive sister because electrons use the conductive wire to flow from the anode to the cathode. This allows electrical energy to be generated for important things like artificial tea lights and battery-operated milk frothers.